What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using the best rain team for ranked double battles. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring those notification bells so you do not miss out on any of my content. Like I said, we are rocking with the rain team today, and rain is personally my favorite weather to use on the rank ladder. It is so much fun to me, and I love the Pokemon that come with the rain teams, especially my boy in the top right hand corner, Pelipper. Love that Pokemon. Then we got two Gen 8 Pokemon with Dreadnought and Barrascuta. They're going to be very strong in this meta. I feel like they play really well without Dynamax. So, cannot wait to try them out and get some wins in that master tier for you guys. But with that out the way, we can get started here in that top of corner. We have the one and only Dreadnought. Swift Swim as its ability to double its speed in the rain. It's got the White Herb as item because it has Shell Smash. So if you can get that set up, it's pretty much going to be GG's. You got Protect, Liquidation, Rock Slide, and Shell Smash for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be our rain center. It is going to be my boy, Pelipper over here. Drizzle and Focus Sash as item. It's got Protect. It's got Helping Hand. It's got Hurricane, which hits 100% of the time in rain. And then it has Wide Guard to protect our ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. Third Pokemon is going to be our support in DD with Psychic Surge and Safety Goggles. It has Imprison and Trick Room to counter Trick Room teams. And it has Follow Me as its final move. So I can either use this thing to Imprison Trick Room or to go into Follow Me, protect the Pokemon and have like Dreadnought next to it. Kind of set up with Shell Smash and then swap into Pelipper, get the rain going, and then just have Dreadnought kind of sweep out the battle. I feel like that's a really good combo and it can really work well. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our Sweeper. It is going to be Barrascuta over here. And Barrascuta is super strong and super quick. Quick. Its only problem is it dies very, very easily. Its defensive stats are kind of low and its HP stat is kind of low at the same time. So it can pretty much tear through teams, but it cannot take a hit too well. It's got Swift Swim and the Life Orb as item, Protect, Liquidation, Close Combat, and Psychic Fangs for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Kilowattle, and I love this brand new bird in Gen 9. I think this Pokemon's awesome, and it is strong in ranked battles. It has Volt Absorb as its ability, so it can actually protect our water Pokemon if there's an electric Pokemon on the field. It has Choice Specs as its item, then it is Rock and Thunder, Bolt Switch, Hurricane, and Air Slash. So this is a full blown attacking Kilowattle. Final Pokemon is going to be Annihilate, and Annihilate has just been all over the meta and is super good all around, and it fits really well on the seam at the same time. It's got Defiant, Choice Scarf as item, Rage Fit, Final Gambit, Close Combat, and U-Turn for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent the seam for yourself, Rental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this rain team. First match coming at you guys going up against a Dragapult team with Gardevoir, Meow, Skirata, and then he's got Grimmsnarl, Golden Go, and Volcarona. I feel like this is just free weather and no way of changing weather, so I'm going to lead Pelper. I might also lead it with Barrascuta in case they want to lead Grimmsnarl. We can actually break screens with Psychic Fangs, so I'm kind of all about that. I am actually really liking the Barrascuta and Pelper lead. We can also bring in... Obviously, my boy in the back, Dreadnought. And then finally, I'm just trying to see like what Pokemon's kind of tear through. It's going to be Miascarada. Miascarada is going to be a problem. But I feel like we can get a lot of work done on Miascarada considering we have close combat on Barrascuda. If they want to lead it, I'm all with it. I'm with it all day. Plus, I can always change typing. I can always change typing. I can Thrasilize, get effort to battle that way. But final Pokemon, I'm thinking either Annihilate or Kilowattle in the back end. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Kilowattle or Annihilate? Annihilate's not bad, but Kilowattle is sick. I'm kind of leaning towards Annihilate. With that Choice Scarf, you can pretty much outspeed anybody. And late in the game, you can pretty much win us the battle. So I'm going to go Annihilate as our final Pokemon. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I've been having so much fun playing these ranked double battles for you guys. Seriously, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm starting to bring you guys more off meta teams, starting with this nice, fun rain team. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this team. The team is cool. Definitely is cool. I played a little bit of, I played like two casual battles. I won one, I lost one, but still, I got the general gist. I got my practice in with the squad. But he's going to end up leading the Miascarada, and I have to get rid of it. I do indeed have to get rid of it. We have close combat, ready to roll. I could change typings too. And, hmm. I don't think I need to. I think I just need a hurricane, right? Seems like my best bet. I could thrash slice in the grass, which would be lovely for us. Might do that. I might just do that. I think that's our best bet. Thrash slash straight into grass. Just so we can dodge moves and just start getting off some damage. The so Terrasalize or Barrasco to go. Terrasalization is incredible. I love it. It just adds so much variety. I feel like there's just... It just adds a whole nother aspect to it. I think it's so much better than Dynamax and like Mega Evolutions. Even though I like Mega Evolutions better, I think for the competitive play, this is so much better. 
close combat comes through here. And of course this thing is Sash. Of course this Pokemon Sash is probably going for a flower trick anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. And Barracuda's defense is going to drop. Kinda of hurts, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. We can take the life orb damage. And of course, I've been seeing a lot of Miascarvanas be Sash recently. One Dragon Darts just dumped Dude, come on now. Come on now. Yo, like I said in the beginning, this Pokemon is legit a glass cannon. He's a glass cannon. <laughs> I do not know what to do. <laughs> He's a glass cannon. This thing is orb. But still, that's hilarious. Flower Trick comes through here. Can you eat this up, Pelper? I would love for you to, but I don't think you are. Yeah, no. No, it does not. It does not. It does not. But I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really don't think we're sitting in such a bad spot, considering I got Annihilate. And I have my boy right here, Dreadnought. So I can drop an easy rock slide. And I have to choice into a move. But choice into Rage Fist? What move do I choice into? I gotta see his back end Pokemon. What Pokemon do you have in the back end? Or potentially could have in the back end? Golden Go. Yes, I might have the choice into Rage Fist. I could definitely see Golden Go coming out here. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right into this rock slide. I have to choice into the Rage Fist. I have to choice into the Rage Fist. Then choice Scarf up. And we should be fine. He's gonna protect. We should be able to get rid of this uh, Dragon Pole, no problem. Before it even gets off a turn. So I'm all about this. Wow, I could have I could have potentially Shell Smash this turn. If this KOs. It doesn't. Hopefully Rock Slide can. You outspeed my Dreadnought? That's wild. That's wild. This Pokemon's quick. That Pokemon's quick, quick. Um, hmm. I think we just still go for rock slide. I could shell smash here, but I really don't. Actually, yeah, I could definitely shell smash. I think this is my turn to actually shell smash. I have to shell smash here. I have to shell smash to potentially win this game. With the white herb, we have to shell smash. We have to start dropping rock slides. We have to start just killing it left and right. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Wow, dude, that dragon pole ripped in me. He goes for a sucker punch. It's failing. That's a big turn from us. So we are shell smashing. Rage Fist is going to fly. Pick up the KO onto this thing. Uh, Dragon Pult probably KOs my Annihilate, if I had to guess, right? With the Phantom Force. And then we kind of just go from there. No, you go after Dreadnought, which is actually fine by me. Definitely fine by me. We go for a nice lovely Shell Smash. So I got my White Herb. I got Shell Smash out here. We're looking for the comeback here. We're definitely looking for the comeback. Um, I know my Annihilate outspeeds. I know my Dreadnought now outspeeds. Um, I can go straight for a Rage Fist into Dragapult to take him out. And then I'm thinking I could just Liquidation Drop whatever Pokemon he throws out on this other side. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that that could be the play. I'm like, I'm not, not, not too upset about where we're sitting right now. Grimstar is going to come out here, potentially set up a screen. If I had to guess, it's going to be a screen. But still, I'm just going to Liquidation right into it. Let's look at our stats. Ready? Look at our stats. Look at the stats. We're plus two attack, plus two special attack, plus two speed. We're going to outspeed everything unless, uh, obviously, you know, people are rocking Sucker Punch. And then on top of that, we got the Rain Boost. I, no, I can't Terrasalize. I already used my Terrasalize. But Rage Fist will KO you, and we outspeed you. And Liquidation should be able to do a huge chunk of damage over onto that Grimstarl. There comes the Terrasalization. I wonder what Terra type you're going into. That's the real question. We're going to Terrasalize Grimstarl and go into Dark. I mean, that's not too bad unless you're Sucker Punching. It is definitely an option. It is definitely an option, and it's a scary option here. You're gonna protect. Please don't be sucker punching. Do not sucker punch me. It has sucker punch. I'm dead, aren't I? That's probably gonna KO me. Eat this. <gasps> Yo! My boy Dreadnought! My boy Dreadnought soaking up and picking up the KO. Yo, Dreadnought? Dreadnought? Yo, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. We got one more turn left in rain. Our speed's up anyway, but still, I like the I like the rain boost damage. We outspeed. We're hoping he doesn't throw out a Pokemon with a first turn priority move. I think it's gonna be Golden Go, right? I feel like Golden Go has to be that Pokemon. I think it has to be Golden Go, and he cannot Terror type anymore. It's Volcarona. Who could have Rage Powder? I think I just Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide's gonna do more damage regardless. I'm gonna Rock Slide, and I'm just gonna Rage Fist. Let's see how this one plays out here. We're rock sliding. Just for the double protect onto the Dragon Pole, it fails. The comeback? We protect that Pokemon. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. As long as we land this rock slide into the pole. Hit the pole. I just need you to hit the pole. If you hit the pole, we, we pretty much win this game. 
cool, cool, cool. We take out the pole. Yo, is this a Drenol Shell Smash comeback? I don't want to say it just yet. Maybe it might be, but we have to finish this battle out here. We have to finish this battle. We still have our Annihilate full HP, but that Shell Smash play really put us in a, in a great spot. That's why I love Drenol. And then we ate up that Sucker Punch. That was lovely. So Swim is gone because Rain is out of here, but still we're plus two due to the Shell Smash, and I can legit just Rage Fish and Liquidation this battle out. Rage Fist is going to hit a little bit, but I think Liquidation should be able to come in here and clean this battle up, right? Yeah, Rage Fist about 50 damage right now because it hasn't been touched. But then Liquidation plus 2 comes in here, and we complete the comeback with the Rain team. You guys got to love it. What a comeback to get this video started. I really did feel like we were kind of out of the battle after turn 1. He kind of just dumped on my uh, Barracuda and dumped on my Pelipper. But yo, Dreadnought came in there, Annihilate came in there with the Rain, set up a Shell Smash, and we went for the comeback. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a heavy meta team, but it has Vaporeon on it, which I absolutely love. They got Hydreigon, Dragonite, Miascarada, which we have to watch out for again. And then they also has the Golden Go, Volcarona, and it's actually a very similar team, and the Vaporeon, but it's actually a very similar team to the one we just versed with the Volcarona, the Golden Go, the Miascarada, all that good stuff. But I could set the Rain. I feel like Rain is just so good for us. It really is. Or I could go in DD, follow me, potentially set up a Shell Smash. And then switch into Pelipper. And then just bring in full rain. Or I can just go straight Pelipper. And go from there. I'm trying to think how this play should be. I kind of like the Pelipper Kilowattro. He has no electric, but I can really get some work done with Kilowattro. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. Let's go. Let's go full out rain team. Let's go full out rain team. We know he probably has water absorbed with the uh, Vaporeon. Which I feel like I have to watch out for, but I think we should find, be fine. Well, you know what? Uh, I don't have time to do this. I was going to say, why don't we lead the Pelipper and the Annihilate, just final Gambit, take out whatever Pokemon we want, and then get it on our uh, rain Pokemon. But I kind of I kind of want to get Kilowatt out here. Such a cool Pokemon, especially in the rain. We're going to try to get Rock out with it. And you don't get to see too many, like, full-blown special attacking Kilowatt on the rank ladder most of the time. There's support, setting up Tailwind easily and all that good stuff. We have to go on Vaporeon. I'm with this turn. I'm with this turn all day. Going with Double Bird. Double Bird, baby. Double Bird coming out here. Um, I'm thinking I just straight up Hurricane you. And then I could Volt Switch. I am choice. I do like the Volt Switch and saving you for later. Could be good. Could be really good. I do also have Thunder, which is going to smack down in the main. But I do want to see what other Pokemon he has. Just, uh, okay. We can freely Volt Switch if I want to. And I think Hurricane is going to be my play. Let's go straight into a hurricane and then battle. I'm thinking Volt Switch. Because depending on what the Vaporeon does, or what depending on what he does, I can actually get in different Pokemon. Yeah, that's exactly why I want the Volt Switch. The Vaporeon's going to swap. We're going to Volt Switch out. We're going to swap our Pokemon as well. And Hydreigon's going to be out on the field. I'm Volt Switch and I'm saying see you later. We're doing a little bit of damage. Just a tad bit of damage. But I have my Kilowatcher for later with that choice specs. And I can go into... Do we think there's no shot he's dropping a uh, a flower trick into my into the slot, right? There's no shot, right? I'm gonna swap into Barracuda. Pulling out the Barracuda. The Barracuda Cuda, baby. Hurricane's gonna fly here. Get off some nice damage. And Hurricane looks amazing in this game. It really does. And it's good to know that we actually outspeed with Helper. This Miascarada is also focus Sash, just like the last one. And, oh, we get a Confusion. Can we pick up a KO on a Confusion? Come on, show it to me. Show it to me. Hit itself. Hit yourself. Heliper, my boy Paloops. Paloops. You guys don't know. If you guys haven't been watching my content, I call Pelipper Paloops. But Paloops out here getting some work done. We have Bear Scooter in the raid now. I can freely close combat into that. That Hydreigon slot, unless he terrestrializes. That will be my only problem. But I love Barracuda's tail. Look at that thing. It's a little propeller. <laughs> I love it, dude. I think Barracuda is such a cool Pokemon. At first, when I saw it, I was like, dude, it's just a fish. But I was like, nah, it's a super fast Barracuda fish. Barracuda, dude. It looks so sick. I really do like that Pokemon all around. One of my favorite, or, yeah, one of my, uh, or more on the favorite side for my Gen 8 Pokemon. That I like. I also did like Grapplock a lot. I had him on my team, but I thought he was going to be water typing. He was an octopus. That was just straight fighting type. He was just all about fighting. He was all about it. He was all about it. 
But we get rid of the Meowth Skirata, which was a huge turn from us. This guy's taking a little bit, or this girl is taking a little bit of time to actually pick their Pokemon and what they want to use. They're going to end up choosing Golden Ghost. So Golden Ghost is going to come out here. Um, I really want to close combat. I do really want to close combat. This thing down. It would be my favorite thing to do. I could protect the Pelper. I do have Terrasalize into flying. Um... I don't think he knows I have close combat, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go after you. I'm gonna try to just close combat the Hydreigon down, and hopefully Hydreigon is not Terrasalizing. I do still have Dreadnought on the back. I like Dreadnought on the back. And again, we have Kilowatch on the back, which Kilowatch is gonna be nice. We'll see what they want to do. If they don't terrestrialize Hydreigon, I think it's dead. Beautiful. If they do not, I'm going to say bye-bye to it. Close combat coming in here. Super effective on that. We'll drop her defense and let Barrett Scooter die out to take out a Hydreigon. I'm all with it. I'm all with it. I'm all about it. So we get rid of Hydreigon. This Pelper, Pelper should outspeed Golden Girl. No, it does not. It does not. Oh, I think Miascarado is going for Trickery. Now that I think about it, because I was sitting there, I was like, Pelper outspeeds? That's what I was confused about. I was like, Pelper outspeeds me, ask around it. It was going for Trick Room turn one. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So we want the Trick Room, my whole rain thing, but the confusion from the from the hurricane took it out. That is great. That is great. Took out his whole plan. He was all ready to pop a Trick Room. He's like, nah, I got Focus Ash. I'm not worried about the hurricane. But you weren't ready for the confusion. Was not ready for the confusion. But yeah, Hurricane did a good chunk of damage to that Golden Girl. Not very effective. Doing almost half. I'll take it. I'll take it all day. But Golden Girl has no first turn priority moves. Um, he's going to throw out his next Pokemon. And this should be its final Pokemon, right? Yeah, it's going to be Vaporeon. I really like what we're saying. I love what we're saying. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I could wide guard the shot. But now nah, I'm just going to Hurricane you. And I'm going to go for a Liquidation. I think they might cancel battle. Knowing that I have Kilowatch on the back end. They still do have Terrasalization. But nice, lovely liquidation from Barrascuta. Should be able to pick up the KO onto the Golden Go. We'll die out to Life Orb damage, and then I can get out my Kilowatch. I'm pretty much just solidify this battle, right? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm playing so good with rain teams. I always play good with rain teams. I don't know why. I always have, and I feel like I always will. But I feel like this game is a little bit easier, or I should say weather teams are a little bit better in this game compared to last game, because with Dynamax, it was easier to change up weather. But now that Dynamax is gone, if you don't have a weather Pokemon on your team, you can't change it up. So I have full advantage, taking control of the weather on the field, and rolling out from there. The Bear Scooter picks up the KO easily. Like I said, Life Orb is going to take us out. Helper, I think, should be faster than Vaporeon, because Vaporeon's not too fast. But we'll see. Yeah, Helper is a bit faster. And Hurricane just looks incredible. Looks so good. He's going to drop a Chilling Water, and that move looks sick. It really does look cool. Drops my attack. And we'll go from there. And this thing has leftovers. But again, we bring out Kilowatchel. I can drop a Thunder. It's going to land 100% of the time in the rain. And it's game, set, and match. Yo, my boy Kilowatchel coming in this back end. I still have Terra as well. Don't I? I didn't change typing. I don't believe I have. I don't believe I have. I might as well Terra, right? Might as well Terrasalize. Go a little bit of Thunder action. So wait, let me let me do the math on this. So it's stab already. Actually, it's gonna be times two. Let me. Oh my god, it's gonna be a lot of damage. It's gonna be times two with terrestrialization base two twenty, and then on top of that, choice specs, which is a one point five times multiplier, I believe. And if that goes off of the two twenty, that'll be a base three thirty move. Wow, <laughs> wow. Wait, plus super effective, double damage. Base six sixty. It'll be six sixty. Did I do that math right? That's wild. That would be that would be absurd. That'd be absurd. That would be absurd. We end up terrestrializing our boy right here. Getting the bird with the big old light bulb on its head. And I love this regional bird. I saw it when I first saw it before the game even came out. I saw it in leaks. I was like, I have to have this Pokemon on my team. Giant like seagull kind of looking thing. Even though I know it's not a seagull. But Thunder's gonna come out here, and that looks amazing in this game. And that just absolutely Tour through that poor Vaporeon. <laughs> Tour through it, but there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0 to get this video started. We are killing it with this rain team. Let's hop to our third and look for a perfect record.
Final match coming at you guys. Doing so well with this rain team. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a perfect record. But we're going up against a Murkrow and Hariyama team with Serena over here. Flamigo, who is such a cool Pokemon. It has the ability Co-Star, which uh, actually copies the stats of its ally Pokemon. So, say Hariyama. This is what I'm thinking. Hariyama could belly drum, correct? Right? And then Flamigo could come in here, pick up that plus six, and kind of roll out from there. That could be scary, but... We gotta watch out for that. He also has Garchomp, Golden Go. Let's look to grab ourselves that perfect wrecker. I mean, Rain's gonna be great for us. Rain is definitely gonna be great for us. We could also lead like in DD and say Shell Smash guy and just follow me and then swap into Pelipper and kind of go that way. Hmm. Is that what I want? I feel like that could be the best bet. Or I could just straight up pop a Trick Room. I'm really, really liking straight up popping a Trick Room. I do like the Trick Room. I do like the Trick Room. I just want to go into Kilowatt roll. Uh, but again, if he leads Hariyama, it's going to be a problem. So I'm just going to go into Rain Squad with Ndidi. If he leads Hariyama, that would be a problem. I do not want to pop Trick Room with Hariyama on the field. I mean, at that point, I would just Psychic it. But maybe I should have brought, like, Kilowatt roll or something like that. But my Pokemon are rather fast. They are. They are rather fast. We'll see what Pokemon they lead. But I don't think any of their Pokemon have Trick Room, right? Unless Flamigo learns it, but I don't think Flamigo learns it. Serene, I don't think Serene learns it either. Golden Go might learn it. Does Golden Go? I gotta look this up. Does Golden Go learn Trick Room? You can't fake me out. Let me see this real quick. Perks of having a second monitor, people. Golden Go. Can learn Trick Room? I feel like it has to learn Trick Room, right? My screen does lean trick. It does not have trick room. It does not have trick room. Alright. Let's play this one normal. Um, I think I might just follow me. Or I can straight up psychic. But since this thing does not have trick room, I think this is just an easy shell, shell smash, right? Actually. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go for it. Might try to go for a good to school kind of move here. Golden Ghost is gonna protect. We like that. We like that. Follow me coming out of here. I'm with this. Hariyama's probably guts, right? Probably guts. Probably just trying to drop a close combat into my uh, Dreadnought slot. So Shell Smash can come out of here. I've been loving the Dreadnought with the Shell Smash. White Herb. I think this team is easy to set this Pokemon up with. But I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. And then I think I just drop rocks and I go into a psychic and double down in the Hariyama slot. Unless this KOs me. It does not KO me. So its defense is down. In the dumps. In the dumps. In the dumps. It has gut, so that's going to give it a boost on attack. But I, again, I just feel like we go here and we can drop rocks. Actually, I might just protect you. I'm just going to protect the uh, Dreadnought at this point. I'm just gonna protect because Hariyama could protect, and I'd rather try to get Pelper out here. Let's see how someone plays out here. So, we're gonna end up protecting here. Didi might be able to outspeed Golden Go. Just for a Thunderbolt. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Good protect from us. Psychic might pick up the KO. Special defense is boosted here, or special defense is dropped for the Hariyama. Plus, we're in the Psychic Train to stab. And yeah, get it on out of here. Hariyama gone. Gone. Golden gone. Golden gone, we'll call it. <laughs> So we take that out. We're left with the Golden Go. We have Dreadnought chilling here. Uh, the thing does have Thunderbolt. And Murkrow's going to come out here. So I think Tailwind's going to also come out here. So he's going to try to Tailwind Thunderbolt me. And at that point, uh, I might as well follow me a shot, right? Let Ndidi go out and just rock slide across the board. Yeah. And with his turn, he's going to Terrasalize Golden Go here. And is that Steel? Are you going Steel? Straight steal. So I think it's going for a make it ring, which might have been the smart play. Might have been the smart play. Because what I was going to do was swap into my Pelper and rain. I was just like, screw it. We'll go for a follow me. And just have Ndidi go up. But if he's going for the double hitting move, that could be a tough move for us. I'm going to quash. You cannot quash me. The psychic terrain is out. Rockside's going to fall here. Might take out the Murkrow. Yep. Murkrow gone. And we might have a flinch onto the Golden Go. Might have a flinch onto the Golden Go. Give me the flinch. Show me the flinch. Make it rain. Ugh. Ah. Mmm. Don't like it. Do not like that. 
I do like Dreadnought surviving on three. That is huge. This thing's special attack is down in thumps. We can bring out Paloops now. And pretty much wrap this battle up. We still have Barrier Scoot in the back end. I'm liking where we're sitting. I'm loving where we're sitting. Bring out the rain. Bring out the rain. Wow, we've been playing so well today. We really have. I don't know why I play super well with uh, rain Pokemon. Do you copy its stats that are lower? That's a good question. Let's see. Will Flamigo copy stats that are lower? It does not. <laughs> but from here, uh, I guess we'll go Hurricane into the Flamigo slot and just straight up liquidation to Golden Go. I should have read the Golden Go Protect, right? I should have read it all day. But yo, Flamigo's sick. I gotta showcase that Pokemon. That is so cool. He goes for a wide guard. Good thing we are not dropping any rocks. Good thing we're popping just a straight liquidation. Taking out your Golden Go. And then this cool new looking hurricane animation is just going to absolutely dump on this Flamigo. GG's. 3-0. Perfect record. Love to see it. Love to see it. Palooch coming out here. Hurricane looking fancy again. And this thing is going to be Sash. Little Sash Flamingo. Chilling on one leg. Oh, but it's confused. Oh, we gave him the ducks. We gave him the ducks. We gave him the ducks. We'll pop another Hurricane. Drop another Liquidation. I think our opponents cancel the battle. There's a 3-0 perfect record for you guys. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect 3-0 record with the best ranked rain team at the moment. We absolutely dominated with today's video. And this team was so simple yet effective at the same time. You got the Pelipper to pair up with the Barrier Scooter or Drenna. You can lead them and just thrive out with the rain. You got the Annihilate to Final Gambit, which we did not get to showcase. But still, you can Final Gambit, have that thing KO any Pokemon, and then swap into the rain squad from there. You have the Indeedee and Kilowatcher to help you out on the support side. But this time, this Kilowatcher was actually special attacking. And it worked really well in battle number two up against that Vaporeon, which I absolutely absolutely love but yeah like i said this rain team's easy to use and is super super strong on the rank ladder but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody